Welcome back guys to Fire Emblem Free Houses where last episode we ended our chapter ending battle with a revelation from the goddess expected of us. However, there was soon conflict in the Holy Tomb as the Flame Emperor followed by the Empire's troops invaded. With them trying to steal the Crest Stones, we have finished the thieves and now head to behead their leaders. Hmm. Oh well, I guess we're not pulling you that way. We're gonna pull you this way. I mean, actually, oh, that's probably not a good idea. Absorption? What if he uses his ability? If he steps there and uses that attack, it would hit Olives too. What is absorption? Curves HP equal to 50% of the damage dealt to foes in the area. An MT of 4. That could be bad. I mean, it still wouldn't hit to do, but it would hurt others a lot. So with that said, I need to move to do one spot further forward. Because at that point, it won't hit anyone but the do. And that would be the doodle of him. Yeah. My thanks. So now it hits the spots in between. We don't like to leave things to chance, do we? Chance is silly. The visions! I mean, his battalion has got multiple endurance. Many endurance his battalion has. I think we're good to go. Mercedes can stay well out of that. See if this guy actually does come and if he uses his gambit. <laughs> I'm told it's fine to kill those who resist. Now then, how shall I cook you? Torture them! The hill is just standing there. A zero hit chance because of all the nearby supports. Thanks for the class mastery, buddy. How would you like an axe to the face? Let me ask you a question. A very big question. And also there's like a billion spellcasters that can just come in at this point and just go doop doop. Felix. Felix would kill the guy from that range. Send a fire at first and then let the dude take the kill. More class mastery. No Never mind! Yeah. Wait. No. I was just following orders. I just. Did you want to talk it out before you died? Whew. We must all do our part. Yes, good parts. You're in tip-top shape. That I am. All right, so attacking you. Would be silly. <laughs> Yeah, we're putting the doom right here. What actually is your movement? Obviously it's one, but surely you should have a movement range apart from that Flame Emperor. So he's got a two hit, 58% chance. The do doubles the Flame Emperor. The do isn't gonna critical though. Which is what I'm avoiding. At the very most, he'd have a six move range, right? 
So just in case. He's got Battalion. Raging Flames. It's probably what he's going to cast, to be fair. Empty of 50. Hit of 50. Could the dude die? Could I have to do Divine Pulse? I mean, I can literally... I probably just get it. Like, no joke. This turn is a kill. But I'm pretty sure I want Dimitri to do it. So let's seed to Dimitri on this one. Yeah. I mean, he'll always use his Gambit Thank you. Else, right? That 38 attack is pretty nasty. So if that's at a two range, if I put all his... Here. This is again just to provide some support bonus. Is actually someone to heal? Me. Yeah. Well done. Oh, one more turn for class mastery. Where's Ash? Ash. Any more experience? You'd have crazy visions. Seems like this way might get me the most times. Let's see what this thing does, eh? I should just left to do out, to be honest. You wish to interfere? Then your life is forfeit. Could this be the divine pulse? I will end it now. Empty of two. Where did you get that from? Super serious, I'm just gonna ask the question. Where did you obtain this? Well, that's just nuked all my attack damage, by the way. However, I can attack at a two range. And Dimitri is ready to go. So we just need to take a little bit of that HP down. But I don't want to crit. Wait, you attack from two range? Allows you to count and check regardless of distance to attacker. Interesting. Something tells me that you'd have even less of a chance to hit me. However, I could possibly crit on both of those attacks. Listen to the music, man. It's going off on one. So how can I get what I consider to be a nice attack in? Regardless of range. That'll do it, right? And then Dimitri can come tearing in. I mean, Dimitri can double and kill anyway. I may as well get the extra experience, right? Well, I should do it with all this because it must be some text. One person I did not wish to make an enemy of. Even if I crit, I can't kill. Ow! What? The Flame Emperor also has the Crest of Flames? Did he just regain his HP? Doesn't look as simple as we thought. He also stopped my double. Knew my magic, knew my strength. But I, I didn't double, did I? 
I know my bow didn't break. No matter what, I've got the kill, but... I wanted to do a little more damage there, you know? So you could just heal back off what I do anyway, if he hits. Which is kind of balls, really. I mean, I've got the kill. But I really wanted Dimitri to kill it. Do not try to say you have forgotten. Do you know just how many people died in Dusker? Why bother with this? Stay silent and fight. So, you want to turn your eyes away from the lives you have trampled? Dastard! You are a monster. The lowliest beast I have ever known. No critical! Finish this! I will get stronger yet. Great level. Except maybe the mag. For you, I will take that head from your shoulders and hang it from the gates of Endor! Crushing of the skull is quite crazy. You protect all the crestones indeed. Thank you for the cheers. You've been waiting to see Dimitri go feral. Hello, hello. What on earth? We received a rusted bow. And a knowledge gem. I like knowledge gems. Rusted bows can be forged in a silvered bow. So we want to send both of these to the convoy. It's good that we got two of them. An advanced seal too. Yeah, it was a lot. But who was that behind the mask? Of course, we've known for a while, haven't we? Conflict in the Holy Tomb. MVP is Ingrid. So the big thing that's happened is happening now. Is this why we had a cutoff point? <sighs> Don't send me to a save screen now. Send me to more cutscenes. Before I break your neck, there is one thing I must ask you. Stay out of my way. I don't recall giving you permission to speak. Answer my question. That is all you have left to do. Flame Emperor. No. Edelgard. Tell me now. Why did you cause such a tragedy? <sighs> You killed your own mother, and yet you haven't even had the decency to stop and consider the reasons behind your actions! Have you? I already told you I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> it was foolish to think I could reason with a lowly beast. Your Majesty, no! You are a monster. Come, Hubert. To flee is futile, wicked girl. 
The Church of Seros will raise its entire army against you until you have been captured and punished. You have defiled the Holy Tomb, dishonored the Goddess, and humiliated your brethren. That crime will never be erased. Even if you burn in the eternal flames and spill all of your blood into the Goddess's soil. Come, Professor. Let us return and decide upon our next course of action. <sighs> hmm, are you okay? That should be the thing I ask. I can't believe it, Edelgard. We've known for a while the dagger that was thrown at your head, after all. We weren't able to defeat her. Your Highness. I will kill Edelgard with my own hands. I swear it! Let's return to the monastery, Professor. It is clear what must be done. So, he's finally shown his true face. The same Dimitri I've seen once before. A beast who loves spilling blood. You're wrong. I'm sure of it. There has to be an explanation. I knew he'd been carrying the burden of that tragedy. I understand his thirst for revenge. His family and closest friends, all massacred right in front of him. But it still doesn't add up. There must be more that we don't know. That's true. Dimitri didn't come unhinged until after the Flame Emperor was unmasked. You don't think there's some connection between those two, do you? The leaders of the Church have misused its creed to fulfill their true desire. To rule the world. They have fooled the people of Fodlan. Long ago, they divided the Empire to create a kingdom. And then, divided that kingdom to create an alliance. They did all of this to make the masses bicker amongst themselves. They caused instability in order to reinforce their own authority. They gathered gold and lived in extravagance. How? By preying on the devotion of those who wished for the goddess's salvation. Those corrupt hypocrites cannot lead Fodlin to true peace. Their foul belief system must be torn asunder so that true wisdom may finally prevail. And so, I have decided. By order of the Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hresfeld, the Empire hereby declares war on the Church of Seros. I cannot believe it. Let us recount the situation as it stands, Professor. After you returned from the Holy Tomb, the Adrestian Empire declared war upon the Church of Seros, as well as our allies. Declared war? Of course they did. We declared war on them too, didn't we? In a sense. Edelgard demanded her own father relinquish the throne, and then assumed the position of Emperor. She has deemed the Church of Seros to be an evil of this world, and is calling upon the people of Fodlin to help her tear it down. I must discuss our response to this declaration with the Archbishop, after the Knights return from their investigation. Until then, watch over the students. See that they remain calm. Professor. The Empire has declared war on the Church of Seros. We knew this day would come, sooner or later. What's going to happen? Well, we need more information to begin with. We can't afford to be optimistic. It's entirely possible the Kingdom will be invaded. Settle yourself, Ingrid. We need to carefully consider our options. We can't just act rashly. That will only make things worse. Once we've ascertained the situation, we must return to Ferdiad. Your Highness. Okay. I will hit another save then. A very silent Dimitri. Pondering. Brooding. Linked attacks, what? 
Part 1. White Clouds. Lone Moon. To War. Together, the people of Fodlan relish the beauty of the brilliant moon overhead as another year ends. They recall sad partings and new acquaintances alike, but each person must still walk their chosen path alone. With each day, the presence of spring grows stronger, and yet a lone moon still haunts the sky, a silent reminder, perhaps, of some inescapable truth. Okay, so what is happening next? I kind of expected things to move forward a little bit more, to be fair. It was interesting to see the link attack thing, though. If you get someone in close range, you can hit someone else and do damage with them. Never got anyone that close. Oh, God, this is a short month. Unforgivable. I cannot fathom that the Adrestian Empire would embark on such a violent course of action. The fault is my own. I failed to see the wickedness within Edelgard's heart. Well, what is her objective? But is she wicked? Probably is not the right thing to say at this point, I guess. That's not really what we need to say. That's just opinionated. We want to know what her objective is, because that's on point. There is no question on that front. She clearly wishes to conquer all of Fodlan. And in order to achieve her own selfish ambitions, she plotted with ill-meaning strangers and defiled the Holy Tomb. Or perhaps her ambitions are even grander than we know. Perhaps she is planning to make herself a false deity by demonizing the Church of Seros. Adrestia received its very name through a divine oracle. To injure the goddess is a sin most foul that shall not be forgiven, nor forgotten. We must stop the Empire, and quickly. I have returned, Rhea. Welcome back, Shamir. Were you able to discern the Empire's movements? Their main troops are marching towards Garrick Mach. It is said that they will join forces with Edelgard's army and arrive within two weeks. Two weeks? That is not enough time. It will require all of our efforts just to prepare our defenses before then. We must send notice to all surrounding villages at once. We must order the residents of Garrig Mach to flee for their lives. It will be done. Professor, listen closely. If our enemy invades the monastery, I will have no choice but to stand upon the battlefield. If something happens to me, I am entrusting my sacred duties to you. Uh, why me? The sacred duties to you? What do you do? <laughs> well, I can, okay, let's ask why. You must have guessed it by now. The truth of who you are. Or perhaps I should say... Your lost memories are surely beginning to return. I have acted all these long years as a mere proxy for you. But the duty is yours, and yours alone. Only you can lead the people of Fodlan. Rhea, please. You must tell me all that you know. I beg of you. That one is the progenitor god. Am I correct? In a sense. Our dear professor is a vessel. One who carries the power of the progenitor god within. In time, the vessel will become one with the power contained within, and the progenitor god shall return to this world. I see. I trust that you are aware of the questionable nature of this experiment. But I suppose there is no turning back. I ask that you help our friend. And in doing so, help her. I am waiting and hoping for the moment when our creator rules this wayward land once more. I understand. As ever, I will take you at your word. Lady Rhea! Brother! 
I will do my part as well. Flame, were you eavesdropping? <sighs> Regardless, I am glad to hear it. You owe your life to the Professor, after all. And in the end, they may prove to be our brethren. You have my gratitude, Sedith. And you as well, Flame. As followers of the Progenitor God, it is up to us to see our mission through. I need to start taking some orders from me then. Where's someone's birthday look? Whose birthday was missed? Poor person. And we're just happily in our thing like normal. Sure. So, dividing the world, we still have that paralogue. Obviously we're gonna explore. We missed Ignatz's birthday. Poor Ignatz! <laughs> you don't get a birthday, Ignatz. And we missed Saint Index Day. Oh, wait a second, did we get this? We're actually around a full year now, are we or not? I can't remember. I think it was the fourth we started. Poor Ignatz. Happy birthday, you get war. Don't worry, Shamir's birthday is on the way. Rare monster sighting, we're dividing the world. We could do that paralogue here. Depends. We've got a choir festival too. So, of course, everyone chooses to explore, because why wouldn't you? No way you wouldn't. I've only got one billion. Alright, we've still got 30k cash again. I mean, hell, that regenerated in no time at all. I don't think there's anyone to certify at this point. Still, Hilda would need a lot of weapon training by the look of it. So it's exploring time. Silver Lance is on offer otherwise. Let's go. Dot dot dot. Is that because you were using your mind to open that up? Right, let's do a quick scan of people because there's lots of people that wanted to speak. No one seems to have left with. Ferdinand's still here? Damn! I thought that was going to be a cut for something bigger than that. Ferdinand! I mean, you don't want to go with the crazy lady. What am I looking at? Oh yeah, I'm looking at Roster, me. I got my heavy armor to an E+. Plus. Could I get it up more than that? Probably not. I don't think there's any possible chance. If there's anything like Caspar and I have to get it to a, a D+, plus, as it seems, then that's not going to be likely from an E+, plus standing currently. Unless... I was to have gone to battle this week. And I think, like, even then, you only get... That was that up there. You only get, like, weapon experience if you're hitting, or armor experience. I don't know. What's going on? I have had the arrival of a letter from Edelgard. She is asking that I join her side. She is making the decision. No. She is deciding if Bridget is a friend or an enemy of the Empire. But my choice is not to be friends. My choice is to fight with you. Bridget is not a friend of the Empire. We will not be following again. We will be ready to fight with you instead. So they're trying to get everyone in. Like, that was in the house. But we've kind of taken them, so... Haha! <laughs> That's gonna severely deplete your forces a bit, surely? Why would they come to you? I'm a nice god. Who are you? What are you doing in this corner? It's a bit shady at times like this, I've got to say, hey mister. There. Right, we should be heading to uh, the garden. It's usually where we start. Uh, if I could go back to last month and throttle my carefree self. Now it turns out Edelgard is the Flame Emperor and the new Adrestian Emperor. And she's striking out against the monastery with the full force of the Imperial Army behind her. We gotta beat her at her own game. For our sake as well as Lady Rhea's. Alright, well we need heavy armor, but I don't think anyone's really gonna have it at this point. So this is the sucky thing. 
You saw it too, didn't you? The boar's true nature. He's hidden his desire for revenge pretty well. But now it's stirred up. Well, regardless. That girl's starting an all-out war, isn't she? But an enemy is an enemy, no matter who they are. Don't let compassion for her get in your way. I have no problem. It sounds like she basically caused a race to die, so... I don't know if there's still, like, stragglers left, but... But then she says she wasn't there. Who's to believe? I don't normally have a problem jumping into a fight, but it feels strange going up against my father. We aren't especially close, but he's not an opponent I'd want to face. I'd almost rather fight a monster. I hope he's not part of the group coming to attack Garrig Mach. And that's the conflict, really. These Black Eagle members will actually have to stand up against family in order to stick with me. Okay. I don't think I could ask that of a lot of people. I thought we'd all be really busy with assignments and getting ready for graduation. But now... Now that things have turned out like this, I guess there's nothing to do but fight. Well, I don't know. Maybe there's another solution. You just don't know until you try. Hello. Maybe we could have a really nice tea party and I could get perfect and I could look up her nose and find the evil, like, an evil seed corrupting her. Not to make light of a situation or anything. I feel it's our best strategy. You'll go to war with me. It'll be a short war. <laughs> Not same for you, just like an army of two. <laughs> go off to fight what? <laughs> what are we fighting? What are we fighting for? <laughs> We're just at war, okay. There's never anything in any of these rooms. Maybe Edelgard will have left a letter in a room that says something like, I'm sorry, I am the evil one. Can you tell Dimitri to chill? He crushed my friend's face with his hand. Oh no. I've known his highness since I was a child, but I've never seen that side of him before. He seemed like a completely different person than the one I know. Alright then. Good evening, housekeeper. Let's speak to you. Uh. Harvest away. We've got a rocky burdock. Strength by one, it's too bad. Many different flowers. I don't think that's really going to help me here. Many flowers. Uh, what should I do? Should I just make some random stuff? Like, there, there. Like vegetable seeds. I haven't made any vegetables. Obviously, you don't want to do fruit with vegetables, probably. Eastern Folan seed. I'm going to plant some normal seeds. Some non-stuff that doesn't give us any stats. And get to three, so go to two. We have Lepoon. Let's speak to Berna. What does war with Edelgard mean for us, Professor? And why does she even want that? Hmm. She seems to think force is the only way. Maybe. Yeah. Seems that way. I mean, she forced her dad off the throne. I wonder why she'd think that. That's how it always goes, I guess. You never realize something can't be undone until you've done it. Right then. Let's keep on moving. Let's see if there's any more blues. Living stone! And... No fishing no. event, I take it? No. Thank you very much. Emma Gobi just waiting on the side. The talky talking. Will we even see the next mission anytime soon? It's always the talk with this kind of stuff going on. You know, Professor, 
I'm glad that I came to the Officer's Academy. I feel accepted here. I've learned so much. Honestly, I'm surprised at how much I've grown. So, I will not let the Academy be destroyed. It's important to me, and I will protect it. Hmm. Don't do anything rash? No, I feel the same way. We, we will protect this place. It'd be interesting to fight a minute. I mean, let's put it this way. It's actually a quite a funneled area. I feel braver just hearing you say that, Professor. We're gonna win this, Professor. Looks like you should create quite a few funnels to prevent enemy passage through with, like, just a do in the way of everyone. Hey there. That looks like it would work too, right? At least the marking music's still cheerful, yeah. No war drums marching here. Oh. Okay, I need to either forge or repair that iron sword. I can't forge it, so it'll have to be repair. Is this it? Oh yeah, Smithic Stones. There you go. Right, how much did it take to repair that free umbral steel? Of course you gotta let it go lowered to get your bang for your buck. Uh, nothing needs to be doing there. We're good there. I mean, we could just forge up your iron bow a little bit, to be honest. Is this it? There you go. I think I should probably buy some smithing stones at this point. Killer bow's good. Killer axe is good. I mean, most people we don't really have to worry about weapon charges with. Lewin has used f five charges. Iron Boat Plus is already there. She's fine. And if that's the case, pretty much everyone else is fine. Come back anytime. This is war music. It's happy war. We're marching down while doing a happy skip, are we? What the? One day. What happy world this has become? Yes, one day. I will check out battalions. Well, I'll be. And then they'll say, well, I'll be. Hey, welcome. Is there any point in buying your stuff? You have a good eye. I don't use the money. A ple you have a good eye. A ple you have a good a pleasure doing business. You have a good eye. A pleasure Let's put it this doing way. business. If we want to force our supports up with all is here, considering we've got you have a good eye. most a of the people you here. Have a good just having all these business. spare gifts is gonna be good really good. You have a good eye. A you have a good a pleasure doing business. You so I guess it's better to have it than you not. have a good eye. A pleasure doing business. Would you agree on that? Pleasure doing business with you. Come again. And to be honest, it's not gonna take Hello me there. that much below 20k. This one, yes. I think 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 this one, yes. I was gonna say if below 20k at all, but it will if I use some of this like one, buy yes. some of extra like the air. I thank you. But we're nowhere near one, yes. like running out of cash. I think this one, yes. Look at this professor level just sitting one, around yes. waiting for me to get. I think this one, yes. I think this one. You think one, I yes. have enough? I think. To push to, me please. to the next like level, just from fishing bait. If I was to get like red fish all the time for the thirty points. Pardon I mean, me. definitely on a certain day. Why does your voice, when I go near you, sound so different to your actual voice? I'm not close enough. Greetings, professor. Something to report. Unexpected, isn't it? Apparently, this is the first time Garrig Mach has been invaded in its whole 995 year history. It's my job to protect this gate, so even if enemies come in droves, I will never let them through. I hope we both survive. Let's battle with all our might and pray we win this thing. Really? Alright then, I see heated discussion in the chat for a while. But of course, I cannot read and really reply to you now. But to discount other people's agency as free will people able to make their own judgments, it's a bit crazy. Right then, and to each their own and all that jazz. What now? Half of the Empire's six great noble families have declared their support for Edelgard. Of the other three, Lord Vestral was assassinated. Hubert, his son, will succeed him. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is under house arrest. His wife is now supporting Edelgard. And my father, he was stripped of his role as Prime Minister. As a result, House Ire has lost all of its power, all of its lands. We have lost everything. I... I... What do I do? 
Well, you should join me, but obviously I should try to get some more heavy armored experience first. Also, the fact that no matter what, shouldn't, like, if this has gone on to this guy, shouldn't he just automatically join us? Like, not be so confused. Like, his, his family have actually been made poorer for this. Going back to fight for them wouldn't help. You're just going to end up in, like... We're not going to get him. I'm going to mission assistant to him. That's the only way I'm keeping him now. How could... How could... How could... Alright, I'm not pressing recruit until we've at least tried to proc some extra heavy armor. We might be able to go up one rank, but that's a very might. You might be able to get a flat D. Pardon me. Muddy, it's flat. What? Right. I didn't run yet. You're still saying what because I walk near you? I don't understand you saying what if you knew I was the physical representation of the goddess walking on the earth, but still. The most important nobles in the empire are known for taking power from the previous emperor. My father included. I didn't think it possible that the Imperial Princess could ascend the throne so easily. However, it seems that both my father and Kaspars are supporting Edelgard. Having both the Minister of Domestic Affairs and Minister of Military Affairs on your side gives you total control over the Empire's military and finances. You must have been making preparations for quite some time without anyone noticing. Hmm. Alright. You know what I think is, I think I missed like at least one time of doing <laughs> armored stuff because I just gave up. I hear the Alliance's territory will be in danger if we don't get rid of these Empire guys. If the Alliance is in danger, that means my sister's in danger too. There's no way I'm gonna allow that. It doesn't matter how many guys they throw at us. I'll beat them all. These muscles aren't just for show. But first, I gotta get some food. You do that. His muscles are not just for show. I guess we better go head chef -roo. That's at least one thing we do. <laughs> to Taddy's pipe, by any chance? I have some experience with cooking. I'm sure I can aid you in the kitchen. The war music stops for this yes. moment. How the meal tastes affects the morale of the troops. An army marches on its stomach. We're talking of armies now. We actually need that. Right. Big friendliness with him. We've technically got... No, I need to go to goals. All of these guys to smiley face already. So we don't actually need to teach many more people anything. Because, like, our teaching for this month is already covered. In those regards. Right then. Arcane Crystal and a Ginger Tea. Any lost items? Edelgard left behind. All her clothes. Do you wish to try them on? Alright, Western Folan Seeds. Peach Currant. That's what I wanted. Sweet Apple Blend. Chamomile Tea. And Amid Gobi just lying on the floor. It's probably not run, is it? Flower seeds, and I think that's everything from the amiibo gazebo. I never checked that corner when I think about it. But it would never surprise me if I missed something there. Okay, we haven't checked the upper class storms yet. Oh, there's something. Herring bait just waiting there. But we'll come back to that. Hey, Gilbert. What? There are always small power struggles, still. It has been hundreds of years since all of Fodland was consumed by war. I didn't actually think it would come to this. I feel as though I'm not in my rightful place. I cannot protect the things I should. Professor, if I survive this war, I wish to return to my homeland, to the land of my king. Right, well, we'll train a little bit more of that. I don't think we can even reach a D, to be honest, unless we get, like, a perfect. 
greats might push me there. So that's not bad at all. We'll go with that. There are all I did I feel professor. Do you not want to join me ever? No. 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 You're the only one who hasn't. We're falling behind. I don't know that we can keep up with the new emperor. To think that she was able to raise an army of that size right under our noses. However hard we fight, I give us a 50% chance of winning. The enemy has too many advantages. We must make careful preparations. Well, let's not try to invite a third party to the bell, because then our chances okay. will go drasty down. And that would be bad. Let's go check the very top there. See who gets that reference. Hi. Professor? Uh, it's my job to protect Lady Rhea. I've got to do it, and i got to do it as best I can. And if that means i got to die for her, then I will. Uh, how could Edelgard treat Lady Rhea like she's the bad guy? She's never been anything but nice to everybody. I just don't get it at all. And we all... War's War, man. We never really get it, because it's all decided on by people that are outside the scope of what the people who are fighting generally are. It's not decided by the people who are fighting the war. It's decided by a few higher-ups that just go, yeah, we're at war now. Does it really matter? But then nationalism trumps all. Those who serve the church must cast aside all selfish desires and devote themselves fully to their beliefs. But is it right to wield piety as a weapon? I have never considered such things before. The church, I, I... I have always done what I thought best to save the people of Fodlan. Ah uh, yes, religion as a weapon. What do you do when you're drawn into this kind of stuff? Okay. The Empire is moving quickly. Edelgard must have been preparing for this for a while now. If you really think about it, she must have been planning for this even before you got the Sword of the Creator. Of course she was always a step ahead of us. We were blinded by the ball and the battle of the eagle and lion and everything else. I don't know, I wasn't really dancing too much. Also, you're alone in your house. Do you want to join me now, Claude? I mean, war and all. You're pretty lonely. Being lonely in a war is great. What is Edelgard even trying to achieve? She wants to destroy the church so badly that she'll take on anyone who doesn't fall in line? I don't get it. Hmm. Our ideals are in conflict with yours, I'll say. I just can't believe she'd start a war over it. Not to mention using such nasty tactics to get her way. Could Captain Gerald's death have also been a part of her plan? Don't you go and die on me, Professor. Captain Gerald would never forgive you. I'm glad we're proper friends now. Or at least we're always proper friends when we're in the monastery. It's in the supports where everything starts to go a bit downhill. Okay. Nope, I missed my turn. Professor. Ugh. I mean, I'm all you have left of this, kind of, now. To do! His Highness calls for the head of Edelgard. For me, that is cause enough to fight. Okay. Are you truly alright again, that? I mean, it's your decision, but I know you basically have placed your life to him in that way. The hatred of His Highness is also my hatred. Any other feelings I may have are irrelevant. And if Edelgard was responsible in any way for the tragedy of Dusker, that is something I cannot ignore. If that is the case, then she is my enemy. Oh, he had a anger bane bold then, didn't he? That is not... That is... That is... Don't know why I'm trying with that stuff. I'll never figure it out. At times like this... I just feel so anxious, you know? But you'll watch out for me out there, right, Professor? Yes, but I only just realized that we hadn't actually seen Edelgard or Hubert in the monastery for like a bit. I only just realized that. And just suddenly went, wait, she wasn't there like in the monastery last time. I mean, was she in the chapter before? The Empire's aggression cannot stand. 
But if we are going to attack them now, we must be honest with ourselves about our chances of success. It goes without saying that I will fight the Imperial Army with everything I have for as long as I am able. But House Gloucester's territory is adjacent to Imperial lands. Let us proceed with caution. Proceed. Alright, it doesn't look to be any lost items, to be honest. Once the Imperial Army reaches the monastery, we'll have no choice but to fight. What's going to happen to us? I can't say for sure, but I'm going to say everything will be alright because, you know, you're my kids. I'll look at you. I believe you. With the knights on our side, and especially with you, Professor, I know we can do this. I'll try my best with my god's powers. Things must be pretty crazy in Fargus about now. My father must be beside himself. I don't get it. Why did Edelgard make enemies with the nobles? For the sake of her ideals, I imagine. Ideals she believed in so much, she was willing to start a war over them? Those must be some lofty ideals, to say the least. I hope this all gets sorted out quickly and safely. I'm worried about my father. I mean, to do what she's been doing, or to do what she's doing, she'd have to be very sure of mind and have her own past out for her. Like, this is what I'm going to do, and this is what I'm going to do. So, yeah, she's probably got very strong ideals. Wouldn't necessarily call them lofty. Edelgard became emperor and raised an army, huh? Who knew the kid had it in her? I mean, yeah, of course, I knew she'd be emperor eventually, but... The more I think about it, the more surprised I am. I wonder who's gonna win. Us or her, you mean? No, we will not lose. Thinking about it makes me scared. We're up against the entire Imperial Army. Still, I know someone as smart as you will figure something out. <laughs> Expecting me to do that. You fool. That was your first uh, mistake. Professor, what actually happened last month? I can't keep up at all. Edelgard is the Emperor, and she's declared war against the Church? So now we're at war? What is going on? I really don't understand any of this. What should I do? Batten down the hatches. You're not one of my students, so... <laughs> I'm not that bad. It's a very fancy outfit you have there, Madame Paladin. She's got a Killing Edge Plus. Righto is another advanced seal for cheaper. To be honest, should I buy it or not? I think I've got enough now. Is that Louis? I think so. Umbral Steel. And another Umbral Steel from Traveller Annex. Let's go on an adventure! <gasps> what? No easy mode? What the? Oh no. I'm gonna lose. I haven't found a single one. I think they were up there, weren't they? I got Traveller Alex. They didn't have the hidden guy in the normal spot. These people aren't lazy. Damn them, I might only get two at this rate. It's not far off, but we'd have to literally bump into this person like straight away. Or they'd have to both be very near each other, which they are. They'd actually, give me a challenge. Phew! Recon training complete. That was pretty much all within the last minute. For items that we don't really care much about. Alright, the bottom's been checked out. Do I actually have any supports? I do. Dimitri... And Felix's B support has become available. Okay. It's the only one we have. 
you know what? I should check that out before I continue onwards. That'd be an interesting one to see. Let's check it. You don't look busy. Join me for some training, Boar Prince. And here I thought you had no desire to speak with me. We don't need to speak to clash swords, do we? I suppose not. Is that one new? Wait. Where did you get such a blade? <laughs> I suppose you would recognize its value. I came upon a merchant selling weapons and found this among the rest of the steel. That pattern around the edge. There's no doubt. It was forged by Zoltan, the master swordsmith. I'm not giving it to you. Huh? Oh, I'm just happy to have laid eyes on it. I don't suppose you'd allow me the chance to hold it. Do you take me for a fool? I'm not letting a brute like you swing it around. As though I would be careless with something so valuable. I recall when you were nine years old, you swung a sword so hard you snapped it clean in two. Come now, that was so long ago. I'm hardly the fool I was then. <laughs> so you say. Yet House Fraldaria still told that story for years. What's wrong, Felix? <sighs> How pointless. No use talking about someone who's long dead. Looking at your face is making me angry. I'm going to find a different training partner. Farewell, your beastliness. What is going on with him? Oh! We got a weapon for that. Sword of Zoltan. Right, an illustrious sword forged by legendary artisan Zoltan. It just has a high MT for the weight value? I don't know. I mean, it's an A, but I don't know if it's actually that much better than a lot of the other stuff we've had available. Just a high MT. Hit down a little bit. I'd have to check it against, like, saw, uh, steel, etc. Well, back to the convoy you go, Sword of Zoltan. We actually got something from a support. Wasn't expecting that. Well, there's a quest here. What? Was there a quest here? How are you, Professor? Any new changes to report? With the Imperial Army drawing near, it is most vexing that we cannot relax and converse as we once did. Thankfully, you have the divine protection of the Goddess on your side. Please try to listen carefully for her voice. So even Rhea is kind of pretending that I'm the Goddess's minion, not necessary. I don't even know what she's trying to play anymore. I can't hear a thing! Please do not say such sad things. I am certain you will hear her in time. May the goddess's voice reach you. You don't understand. I used to be able to hear things. Now I can't. That has gone the other way. The situation has changed. I used to be what you wanted me to be. Now I am not. I used to hear the voices all the time. Right, suppose there's a quest marker here. What's that for? That's what I'm wondering. It's a Tef. To think Edelgard was somehow connected to the captain's murderer. Well, perhaps it's pointless to get upset about the past. My duty now is to prepare for battle. We're depending on your strength, Professor. Crush our enemies. I'll kill those murderers dead. Captain? I hope you're watching. We will protect Garrick Mark. Right then. Bit of training, bit of heavy armor. Oh, we need to get great. To think Edelgard was well. We're dependent. Good times. Good times. Hmm. Well, that's my one rank up gone. What's up, Seteth? We must protect Garrick Mark. Defiling the holy tomb was a sacrilege. I will not allow such a thing to happen again. 
The Archbishop has already given you a new responsibility. I want you to rise to that honor. Right, what quest do you have I have something to ask of you. We must scout on the makeup of the Imperial Army, but much is still unclear. Any information you can provide would be great help. Collect information on the Imperial Army, and Knight of Seros would have that kind of information. Again, an elixir and a steel shield. Well, that's not even one that was on our list, by the look of things, so it's kind of cool to pick that up. Someone teach me some armor that's heavy. I demand it of you. Yeah, now I get the grape. Learn the defensive tactics. Progress. Whatever that is. I'm going to speak to a knight of Saros, do you? Well, I'm going to speak to everyone here, first of all. The holy tomb held many crest stones. This is the first time I've heard of crest stones being hidden away in such a place. But more importantly, I'm interested to know the Empire's aim. Why would their army desire crest stones? There is power there, yes. And yet, I must think on this. The crest stones lie at the heart of the events surrounding Conan Tower and the chapel as well. And of course, the crest stones somehow transform those traitors and their captives into demonic beasts. Could that possibly be their aim? The Empire's army may well plan to use crest stones to create demonic beasts. I was expecting a little bit of a different angle with that, personally, if I were to put it in my own head. Of things that could be done. Alright, we won't use any more training just yet, but I don't think we can find anyone who will teach me any heavy armoured from now on, so that's a bit of a shame. Really? Manuela! The mastermind behind the attacks on the monastery was Edelgard? Wow. Doesn't make much sense though, does it? There would need to be all sorts of territories and groups tangled up in this sort of mess. <sighs> I'm gonna stop. I don't really have the head for this political stuff. Mostly I'm worried about my old opera company. I wonder what's happening in the capital right now. I hope they're safe. I hope so as well. Do you wanna show me some heavy armor? In that cloak you looks very heavy. Can I get into this room yet? It's not like I can get to the third floor either. It seems to be on their map still. It's still incredibly unable to be accessed. For some reason or another. Right, we're fast travel after this because we should be able to see our location for talking to someone, but I'm guessing it's going to be Catherine. Actually, it might, mm, might be Shamir. The Sifia! So, Edelgard. The one who calls herself the Flame Emperor was connected to those strange beings. The Imperial Army might be using even more terrifying methods than we know. You had better be cautious, Professor. Any amount of carelessness might prove to be our undoing. Right. Nothing to give you at the moment. Thank you for that. So, where are we looking? There we go. We can see it. It's actually a normal standard, bog standard guy by the look of it. Rather than someone like Catherine. Just have to think about the right things though. He wants me to gather information, get some oh. intel. That's a good idea. I cannot believe our negligence allowed the Empire to invade. Edelgard probably gathered her soldiers in Garrig Mach, intending to do this from the start. Soldiers disguised as merchants and pilgrims to avoid suspicion, infiltrating the entire area little by little. They couldn't be better prepared. We'll have a tough time winning this one, I'm afraid. Ah, we got one Imperial Army intel. 